Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now September 7th of 2022 and ever since the very end of, of course, The Book of Boba Fett, Mando Season 2, and of course other shows like Kenobi out there, both Favreau and Filoni have been moving on to better and greater things to really expand and enhance the overall Star Wars franchise moving ahead by, of course, taking a lot of elements from Star Wars Legends and throwing it into the current Disney canon. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the new Star Wars universe is that there's a lot of things happening in the background over at Lucasfilm that's really going to steer things in the right path. Basically, given that Favreau recently got a very big promotion over at Lucasfilm that allows him to call the shots and really, you know, tell a lot of the creators of what to do, even which shows that he's not writing and or directing. So basically he's acting as a president, but at the same exact time, he does not have that president title per se. So here we are, you know, we're approaching the middle of September. It'll be here before you know it. And that's when the marketing of the Andor series slowly begins to die down before it releases. And there's a lot of things going on over at Lucasfilm when it comes down to Kathleen Kennedy, given that Disney executives, as we have talked about, have been having a lot of problem with her, problems with her, of course, for the Acolyte series and everything also related to the fact that she cost Disney tons and tons of revenue. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Now, with that being said, what Kathleen Kennedy recently had to say about Lucasfilm as a company and her plans for the future, this is where things begin to really kind of lend more to what we've been talking about of how Kathleen Kennedy is indeed creating her own company, as we discussed just yesterday and a couple of months ago as well. So with both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni getting ready to announce a ton of new Star Wars shows for celebration next year, they are also currently developing Mando 4 right now as we speak. However, recently in an interview with Kathleen Kennedy, she went on to talk about her experience over at Lucasfilm as a company and responded to the big question on thoughts about her leaving the company. Now, Kathleen Kennedy went on to state the following to the fans. I have had a wonderful 10 years over at Lucasfilm since I was given the great opportunity so long ago. I will admit I have had my struggles and I have had my victories with myself both as a businesswoman and as a person in this company. But to answer your question is yes, I do have higher goals in, of mine and in mind after Lucasfilm that I really can't get into right now, but I have something to fall back on once I leave this company. And it's something I'm currently putting together that I believe the film industry is going to really respect. She goes on to state, I never really believed in retiring just yet, but rather moving on to new opportunities in the pipeline and of course bringing it all together and it's going very well so far. Sometimes being so involved in this Star Wars stuff can be very stressful, I will openly say that, but it's a challenge for me that makes me a stronger person. And it's always about the next goal to me after this one. So let me just stop here for a quick second of what Kathleen Kennedy is saying here and how this really does all allude to the new company that she's putting together that's currently dubbed simply as Starlight Productions. Now, I'm going to get into more details about that in a second. Obviously, Kathleen Kennedy is really trying to make things go her way. We already know that executives are planning to replace her earlier than expected before her 2024 contract ends and they want to get her out by next year. So Kathleen Kennedy's aware about that. So as of now, she's still creating her own company that's going to be a very big deal to her because what she's going to do, and we talked about this yesterday, is that she's going to be hiring ex-Lucasfilm employees and or Lucasfilm employees that support her vision of Star Wars and how she's going to create her own sci-fi genre, her own sub-genre, if you will, of sci-fi, something that fans have never seen before or just regular common moviegoers or people that watch television, right? So that brings us to where we are now, all right? She's still struggling with the Acolyte. She's still having problems with that show, even though Favreau and Lucas are calling the shots on the five episodes out of nine. She's still having a lot of trouble with those four episodes. And Disney executives are still very worried. They're panicking over the show on whether or not this is going to create a large backlash from the fans. And 
completely just knock over the momentum of all these new projects that John and Dave are creating, which, by the way, I don't think the momentum will be destroyed based on one Star Wars show. That's just my outlook on things. But moving on, all right. So on top of this, this is where things get really interesting, is that separate from what Kathleen Kennedy stated here, this all alludes to her planning to leave before Lucasfilm fires her, as she wants to leave sometime next year to open up her own production company called Starlight Productions, which by the way is the code name that is going to be based somewhere in Los Angeles. Now Kennedy is planning to leave Lucasfilm and quit Star Wars altogether, that she can actually keep in mind of her own production company and leave on a high note instead of a very controversial one where she f where she's fired from Disney which is what she's trying to beat as of right now. Now this all comes after Disney executives have been having tons of issues with Kathy after she cost Disney a couple million dollars for the Acolyte series by getting sets rebuilt and of course taken down and then torn down again multiple times due to script changes and even firing creatives like directors and co-writers in the mix as well. Now that's another thing that I think a lot of fans should not forget is the main reason why the Acolyte went through so many delays, I mean so many different changes and setbacks has a lot to do with the fact that Kathy Kennedy really was the one that caused all of the delays. And it had a lot to do with the fact that the scripts were changing, directors were getting fired, co-writers were getting fired, uh, you know, the story was bouncing back and forth, so Disney had to strip down those built sets that were done in studio. That cost them a lot of money, like millions we're talking here. Uh, but in the low millions, nothing super crazy, but still, it's a lot for a TV show, it is. So even if it was like two million, that's a big chunk for, you know, a lot of money to be wasted on nothing. So with that being said, you know, it only makes sense for Kathleen Kennedy to leave at this point because she's not really contributing to anything positive for the Star Wars community so far, at least from what I have seen. You know, I mean, anything related to the Acolyte, to me, so far has not been sounding all that great. I mean, yes, on paper, it can sound interesting because it's gonna be about Sith Lords and it's gonna be about dark side users, I understand that. But let's not forget, any TV show can sound great on paper, it's all about execution. Once you watch the, one, once you watch the thing, all right, it's gonna feel different based on line delivery, cinematography, uh, how it's edited, the music, I mean, there's so many different things that make a show or make a movie. It's not just, you know, what it's about per se, really. It's just about how it's made. So, with that being said, given the fact that she is creating Starlight Productions and she wants to get this thing up and running by 2025, she doesn't want to retire. She openly stated that, that she never really believed in retiring, at least just yet, anytime in the near future. Seems like she's going to be one of those, you know, uh, Hollywood producers or high up, you know, people in the film industry that's going to be doing this thing till like, you know, they pass away. It could be very well be like that. Uh, but anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.